Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova again, and I'm today I'm looking at the model 55i methane non-methane analyzer uh, display menu. And what I'll do is go through a, a bit of the display um, menu functions on this unit. Uh, this is a two-channel uh, gas chromatograph for measuring uh, methane and non-methane. So we're showing 2.12 ppm on the methane channel and the non-methane channel is reading zero. We're just sampling room air right now. And you can see these words changing every few seconds. It's on the inject mode. It will tell you what mode it's in as it's operating. So it's injecting the sample into the column and uh, it'll go through a back flush. And the way this unit works, it will uh, measure the methane component first and then the non-methane is measured on the back flush. And this is using nitrogen as a carrier through the column. So methane will come out first as the peak and then on the back flush, non-methane will come out and there's a, to do the back flush, there's, a, there's an eight port valve inside of this unit which is switched every few seconds um, for the sample and the back flush to change the direction of the carrier nitrogen through the column. Looking at the menu, they have a range which we can change from 20 ppm up to 200 and then up to 2000. So there's some preset ranges in here, 20, 200, and 2000 ppm for the methane and non-methane. Uh, calibration parameters. Here's where I would go in and set my cal gas concentration. So gas concentrations for calibration. I would go in here and set my methane and my non-methane. 12.3 and 17.1 are my high points. So I would have to save these in here first before beginning my calibration. Uh, there's auto calibration setup, auto verification, minimum verification, use zero chromatogram, reset user cal defaults. Uh, this is the calibration menu. Um, it won't let me go in here right now because I've got it sampling, so it's not able to start cal now. But if I wasn't sampling, it would uh, it would let me go in and do the calibration adjust. Instrument controls. Um, you can set an operation mode. Right now we are in continuous, which means it just runs continuous sample loop all the time. Uh, I can set it to single, and it would stop after that single run. Uh, sampling time won't let me go in here because I'm sampling right now. Response factor, gas pressures. This will tell me what my carrier run and ignite are. That's nitrogen. My air run, air ignite for the FID, my hydrogen run, and uh, hydrogen ignite. So this is hydrogen fuel run, ignite. So you can adjust all these pressures. And you can have a mixed fuel if you want. Column oven enable detector oven enable, and pump settings. It also has a data logging feature on this unit. Uh, it does have an internal data logger with a one minute resolution. Uh, communication settings, uh, it has a TCP IP ethernet on this unit. IO config for analog or if you're using 4 to 20 milliamp output. And a screen contrast. It has a good diagnostics menu, uh, program versions, manual operation voltages, you can look at the motherboard voltages, and then you can look at interface board voltages. Good for diagnostics, troubleshooting if there's any issues. Temperatures, which is great because it has a lot of heated temperature zones. Detector oven, filter, column oven, flame and internal. Lots of heated zones in this unit. Pressures, uh, these are the cylinders that I've got connected to the back of the unit. Uh, carrier is my nitrogen cylinder. Fuel is the hydrogen, and air is just for the, uh, the FID and the actuator valve. FID status, this tells me if it's lit. There's two, you can see it's both where it's lit and lit. So this is the FID flame, ion, flame ionization detector. It tells me it is lit, and it shows the counts. And you can see the flame temp as well, 364 Celsius. tells me if there's a flame out issue. Uh, I can look at my calibration history. It shows me the dates it was last calibrated. So it has a good data, a log of uh, for calibration histories. Uh, run history. Again, dates on the runs. Lots of ways to troubleshoot this instrument. Analog input readings. Input voltages. Digital inputs for control, remote control. Uh, relay states for alarm status test your analog outputs, 
instrument config tells me what size of uh, sample loop I have in this unit. Loop size is a medium for that range of 20, 200, 2000. And contact information. A great alarms menu tells me how many alarms I have and what they are. Uh, so the internal detector, filter, column, they're all okay. And you can, you can arrow down further and see the carrier pressure is okay, fuel's okay. So if I go down and look for those two alarms that I had mentioned, I find them and eventually I see it shows low and low. And it's, it's the methane concentration and the non-methane. They're just low because I'm reading ambient low readings right now, lower than the alarms that are set for the unit. And password protect. that on this unit. So back to the main screen and you can see there's the methane and the non-methane channel and you can see it's going through this back flush right now so that's for the non-methane components going to read. Uh, we're just reading zero right now we're just on uh, ambient air. Uh, to calibrate this unit I use a cylinder blend of methane and propane and I have about 400 ppm methane with a blend of 200 ppm propane and that's run through a dilution calibrator to, to set my high point, my midpoint, and my low point. And that's about it. So if you have any questions, this is the 55i methane non-methane analyzer. And feel free to comment. Thank you.